welcome back to this all talk edition of The Social. And as always, you're a very important part of this conversation and you can join the debate on Facebook and Twitter. All right, so according to the New York Times, many adults under 35 <laughs> have stopped playing it safe with their finances with the onslaught of dire headlines. They are no longer saving and are pursuing their passions and taking financial risks. What do you think about this? Guys, Kamal, what about you? So with this, I think there's it's it's a tip of the, the iceberg kind of story because two things we need to consider is the cost of sal or the increase in salaries compared to increase in inflation and cost of living. Yes. So inflation and cost of living are way surpassed the increase in salaries over the past decade plus. Yes. So when we think of talking about this story, we have to ask, what are people even going to save for if we can't afford housing, if day-to-day -day living costs are so expensive? I go to New York often, and when you walk out of your apartment in New York City, you spend a minimum of $200 a day, whether it's Ubers, food, whatever it is. But oh, yeah. I also I'm in the camp of experiences over savings right now even though my husband and I we have become more financially responsible through this pandemic mm -hmm. we do monthly budget meetings all of this but we definitely have been going hard on experiences as things have become more safe in the world and I do not regret it one bit yeah you know that's the thing I feel like I read this story and I was like oh no I feel like I'm still saving and then it occurred to me as I thought about it that my husband and I have been doing quite the same thing we keep saying let's just do it like if we have an adventure or a travel plans we're like we don't know when the next lockdown is yeah so let's just do it let's and we've been saying that for the last year and we've kind of done everything and everything I think that you've wanted to do and I feel like we norm what the kind yeah. of trips we've done over the last year we probably would have spread out over the course of three years but yeah. we're actually like I think we're spending a lot of money <laughs> Jennifer what do, you, what do you think about this sentiment yeah well I think everyone got the memo about experiences over things so if like young women today are going skydiving or going on fabulous trips or having fantastic dinners with their girlfriends instead of buying a Birkin bag yeah I absolutely yes. applaud that. I think the memories are going to be so much more valuable to them than anything. But I also, um, I, I understand that there might be like an edge of desperation to this because we don't know when the next lockdown's coming. We don't know when the next pandemic's coming. We don't, these young people don't know if they're ever going to be able to buy a house. And so yeah. I, I think it's a matter of proportion. It's like, well, uh, why shouldn't I take that long weekend instead of putting the money away? Because I don't know if I'm, if it's ever going to mean anything. Mm -hmm. I the crummy place to be. No kidding. I just came across an interesting stat recently that said a person in Vancouver with a reasonable job would have to work for 23 years before they could save up the 20% down payment for a house. So that exactly what both of you are talking about. Why? Like why? Yeah. Just continue to rent. Yeah. And now that since the world has changed a great deal, continue to rent, which makes you mobile. Yeah. Too. You can work then any place that yeah. you want. Just move in with the old people. Yeah. <laughs> the old people. <laughs> of those old people because I have not sort of been free with my money. I found that I've been pinching pennies and I'm I'm not too sure why. Like it's to such an extreme now that I look at the flyers mm -hmm. every week yeah. and I got my first rain check because the coffee I like, I bet some people don't even know what a rain check is. Kwame, do you know what a rain check is? No. So a rain check is when something's on sale at the grocery store or whatever, and they run out of it. And you're like, hey, this is on sale. I wanted to buy it. And they're like, they give you a rain check. And so what? then you can come back in when it's back in stock. And so I got a rain check for five bags of coffee, $8.99 a bag, normally $20. I didn't even know yes. that. Yes. You just taught Absolutely. everyone a lot. We have to be very mindful of our yes. budgeting generally. Absolutely. You just savings are so candles. important. We don't want to undermine savings, but we also need to diversify our financial literacy sources. Mm -hmm. If we're looking at Gen Z um, financial influencers on Instagram, they might not be giving the best advice as opposed to seasoned financial professionals who have been through recessions, who have been through ah. difficult periods. Mm -hmm. So while I am experiences over things, savings and having that FU account set up so yeah. that you have enough to take care of yourself for a few months yeah. is really important so we want to make sure that you're grounded in that with your financial support oh and God. abundance no, and this good. conversation is a bit of a privilege saving is a privilege to be able to have an income a salary to put money aside is a privilege so this is something to acknowledge as well wise yeah. wise wise how old are you again you're so good you're so smart that's rude to ask, <laughs> I won't ask you. oh my gosh <laughs>